to come. Walking out, that guy that, that when I was walking in, he was walking out. Mm -hmm. He took my chips. The lady gave them to him, and then when I walked in there, I go, "Oh, my chips!" And she goes, "He goes, yeah." He told the lady, "Yeah, you, you made them." And then she goes, "Hi." And then he goes, "Ah." He was all mad at her. And that fool looked at me and walked out with them. He knows he didn't order no motherfucking chips. Where you going? What's up, I took my chip back, fool. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mom, he was looking like all like mad too, like. Yeah, I, a bad day. I don't know. I, I love these. And he walked out all fast too. He knew the mama with the chips. He knew they were my chips. But they gave me some other ones, so. What? It smells like horses, huh? Mm -hmm. We're just right here at the park. Um. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, why'd you bring your? She brought her other shoes. Cause she wants to change them. Okay, let's change your shoes. <laughs> just leave those on and take the other ones. No, just... but they're backward anyway. Okay, fix them straight then. So, we're right here at the park and um. I'm gonna just start walking around because I'm gonna sh let me see can you see where the park is I don't really want you guys to see where the park is because I don't want to burn the spot burn the spot it um I was gonna say etiquette of the day LA lingo um dictionary of the day burn the spot so burn the spot means that if you're somewhere this was this refers more to back when like i was in high school and we had like a certain spot to smoke or like we would go to a certain area to smoke and we didn't want to like burn the spot like don't don't burn the spot or like if we had like a kickback somewhere kickback meaning a party um like okay don't don't say nothing like don't let nobody know don't burn the spot meaning don't burn the spot like don't tell people don't let people know where the spot is <laughs> that old man just checked me out. It's okay, he old. He get a pass. <laughs> that old man straight just looking. I don't know if you can see him. He straight just looked at me up and down like. He was probably looking at what the fuck am I doing? I like to work out right here. But I'm gonna go wash. Come on. Let's go wash your hands. I gotta wash my hands. Come on. I have chili on my hands. 
and there's some little Mexican kids with horses are walking around the park and um, they think they're all cool whatever dude whatever no, I'm just kidding <laughs> get these kids oh my god there's a big old party and nobody's here should we crash this party Smells good, they have tacos. Bay, let's crash this party. Let's crash this party. <laughs> Went to the restroom. You stupid. What is on the slide, Kaka? No. What? So I'm just sitting here. I'm gonna let um my food go down because I ate a little snack. I ate some chips and I'm drinking um an agua de fresa. But um um <clears throat> I need to ask you guys a favor um, before I start going on with the vlog. Um, I would like to ask you guys, like formally, if anybody gets on my comments and asks for my name, please don't tell them my name. That really does irk me. I will delete the comment. <sighs> Just because I feel like people that really want to watch me or people that really watch me I mean like loyal followers will know my name um it's kind of sketchy to me if someone's like what's her name like that's weird to me like what, what do you want to know my name for like it's just sketchy to me it's really sketchy sketchy meaning oh my god did I just hear a bee I hate those big old fat bees you guys know I hate those big old um those big old bees but anyways um I feel like I feel like um, it's just really sketchy. Sketchy meaning it's just like something's weird about it. Like, what do you want to know my name for, you know? So I would just like it if, if you see anybody in the comments. Any, you know, my loyal followers will know who, what my name is. So my loyal followers that know my name, please don't tell anybody my name that asks for my name. If they want to know my name, they could go ahead and look at all my videos and figure it out. Um, but if for somebody to just come in my comments and ask for my name, like that, there's you don't need to know my name or my age or anything like that. Like if you want to figure that out, watch my videos and you will you will figure it out. But I don't know, it just seems sketchy to me. So just, just asking you guys, like, don't tell nobody my name. My loyal followers know my name, and that's all that needs to know my name. I mean, not that it needs to be a secret, but me being from where I'm from, you are taught, like, be careful, don't trust a lot of people, like, just be careful, you know? So I'm just always careful. And you never could know, like, people in, people in YouTube are just people on YouTube are just really shady there's some really shady people on here oh shit I've been seeing let me know when you guys are ready to walk Mao Lila so Let me know when you guys are ready to walk. Oh my god, there's so many bees. I like when um I come to the park and their dad plays with them. I give them their little time just because during the week we're really busy. They go to school, he goes to school, he works and all that stuff. So they never really, I'm with them all week literally finding ways to entertain them and 
stuff like that so I give them their little time together to play interact as um daughter and father daughters and father um so yeah I'm just gonna take a time some time to like talk to you on the real shit on some real shit like I always do um so uh, I'm all picking my nose I'm so comfortable with you guys um I just, um, you just have to be careful here on YouTube, like, there's some shady, shady ass shit, like, that people do, and people connive, and people copy, and people, um, it's just a lot of shit, it's just a lot of, a lot of shady shit, and that's why I've said that, like, on my mukbangs before, like, I don't want to start no drama, I don't want no motherfucking drama, like, I come on YouTube to it's my therapy it is it really is my therapy it really helps me out a lot it helps me um with my anxiety and stuff like that and I've learned how to cope with the comments like I've learned how to deal with them I did I did refer, start reframing a lot from YouTube like back trying to like almost backing away from it because of the comments but I'm a fucking resilient ass bitch. Like, I'm fucking resilient. And the reason why I'm so fucking resilient is because the way I was raised. And the way I was... And I think that you need... I really think that... Being raised with people not sugarcoating shit. And people showing you what real life is. You know, a lot of people refrain from showing their kids stuff. And there's a limit. What I'm saying is there's a limit. There's a limit of obviously what you show your kids. But if you hide your kids too much from the world, when they grow up, they're going to grow up and life is going to hit them in the ass. And they're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know how to act. And they're going to start going through. A, they're they're going to start going through shit and they're not going to be able to bounce back from it. And that's how people develop problems. And that's how people develop um, issues and shit in life. Because they don't know how to deal with it because they never faced it. And they never saw someone face it. Or, you know, things like that. Um, my family, for pastime, for fun, we make fun of each other. We talk shit to each other. We talk shit about each other's you know like oh you're this and you look like that and you look like this and your nose looks like that and your hair looks like that and like it's just like <laughs> and we learn to laugh at ourselves and we learn to laugh at each other so now that I'm a grown up and somebody says something to me it's like <laughs> bitch like really like if you ain't you know if you don't have balls enough to say it in front of my face then bitch I ain't worried about you and if you feel some type of way about me, then that's your problem. It's not my problem because I don't think that way. I don't feel that way. And as long as I don't feel that way, then it doesn't fucking matter. And that's the way... I've learned that I could just laugh it off. And that's a good way to be. That's a good way to be. And some people don't necessarily agree with the way I live, with the way I talk, the way I cuss, and stuff like that. That's fine. Like That's totally fine because you might be you might have been raised a different way you know what i mean like you might have been raised what is it called i'm trying to look for the word you might have been raised sheltered okay that's the word sheltered sheltered from the world sheltered from life sheltered from cussing and see i went to public school public school you have to be fucking tough everybody that knows how it is to be in public school if you don't know how it is to be in public school if you never experienced it then then you you just don't know you won't understand me you won't understand my life and maybe i'm not the channel for you um i feel like a lot of these comments come from stupid ass people and also sheltered people that don't understand um you come across my channel and my channel is not the channel for you because 
I just am the way I am and the way society grew me up and the way having to live grew me up and that's what made me the woman I am today and I feel like I'm a resilient woman. I've had problems growing up but it's all on the way what you make it after you know it's all on what you do now because you're able to have control of your own life and your own things you do huh but shut up <laughs> but babe i'm talking so um you know living going to going to um public school um there's a lot of bad motherfuckers that go and you're in a school with different grades so you know you're in sixth grade or you're in fifth grade i went to uh, middle school when i was in fifth grade i went to hollenbeck middle school and that's in um Bo heights east LA. <sighs> going there was a motherfucking wake-up call for me because i was in fifth grade going in with eighth graders seventh graders sixth graders you know making out having sex sucking dick like crazy motherfucking shit and i was just like i was literally dumbfounded the first month i went to school i literally didn't want to go to school hold on my kids are coming. what happened oh we're gonna walk okay come on we're gonna walk get get your drink okay we're gonna work out at that one but literally, like, I was, like, dumbfounded. Here, get the drink. I was literally, literally dumbfounded when I went to school. Because there was kids cussing. There was kids saying shit that I never even heard of. Right? Babe, come here. Tell them how it was to be in public school. Come here. Pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Like if, if you if you didn't cuss at home or you weren't allowed to cuss at home, and you if you didn't know cuss words, you went to school. You were learning all them cuss words. Like you yeah you were learning, you're a you were learning dictionary words, but you were also learning new cuss words. Believe me. And that's just the way it was. Okay, I'm gonna start working out on this contraption right here. There. Okay. Come on. Ow, my butt. Oh. You can't touch that. You can't touch the you have to push and you can't touch the inside. The family that works out together stays together. <laughs> Or because if there was like only two. I'm drinking my awa. Can I have some? You, where's yours? You drink it all? In the car. There's, it's because there's no more in there. It's just like foam. How long are we supposed to do? Five it's minutes. It's kind of fun. <laughs>
We, we just caught a wild horse in the wild, in the wilderness. Go, go pet him, Nyla, go pet him. Layla, no. Put them right there. Look at that one. Bobby, can you touch it? Bobby. They finna barbecue you later. <laughs> Look at a barbecue this food. Lila, be careful. Get away from the. Let Ma, don't. Ma, no, don't. Go, go, go take a picture with me. Careful, careful. Oh, thank you, baby. Come on. We're gonna go get a fishy. Fishy, fishy in the brook. Daddy caught him with the hook. Mommy fried him with a pen. Baby ate him like a pen. Wait, you guys. Delilah, come here. That's the kind of tank we need? I don't we think so. Fish in it, Mom. They want this big old fish to put two fish in it. I mean, big old tank. <laughs> Get out of there, Lila. No, <laughs> traviesa. <laughs> Okay, so these are the fishes that we ended up getting. She got that tank, and then the baby got this little itty That she tank. is right there. The fish is right. Oh, she got a little crab inside there too. Let me see. Let's turn this around. There's a little fishy she got, and she got a little crab to go inside there, and this is like a nightlight for the room. She got this tank because she got two fish, I, 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 I and got they're in there hiding. I call, I call her name Skylo. They love that little tree. They like to hang out in I, there. I, I, I call her name Skylo. Okay, what's his name? Skylo. I found out one of the names. And what's his name? The striped one is Spike. The striped one is Spike. There's a small one in there. And wait, they're wait. not coming out of that darn tree. What? I, 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 I will call his name Froggy. Froggy? Yeah. But you just said his name was Skylo. <laughs> Hey, why does hers have bubbles like that? Uh, just because it's regular water, I guess. I don't know. But this is the little, um... Maybe because he peed. And this will show stars. And, 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 and this one, and, and this there. button like turns it off and turns it on. Uh-huh. And show them what yours could do. To disco. Leave it like that. Okay, so um, yeah, these are the two contraptions, or what are these called? Tanks. Ooh, I 